There have been so many ups and downs for Manchester United so far this season, but that 2-1 win over Everton was probably Man United's most accomplished performance so far this season in terms of the football we played and how we controlled the game. And one thing is absolutely clear from that performance, it's that change is needed and Mourinho's gone about it in the right way. And one major change that influenced how Manchester United played against Everton was dropping Romelu Lukaku. Now, for a long time, I thought Lukaku was a player who Mourinho considered undroppable. Doesn't matter what form he's in, doesn't matter if he's not scoring, he's always going to start for Manchester United. Not the case. Mourinho dropped him. Eight consecutive appearances without scoring for Lukaku, nearly 800 minutes. And Mourinho dropped him against his former club, and it made such a difference to how Manchester United played. All over the pitch, the tempo changed completely. Faster passing faster movements, shorter, more direct passing, runs in behind from Rashford as on number nine instead of Lukaku, who's more of a target man when the ball is in possession in United's own half. United played a completely different style of football without Lukaku. You know, in defence, instead of the defenders looking long for Lukaku, we played it through to the midfield. And in the midfield, instead of them trying to find Lukaku again, we started to play it wide. We started to play it to Martial and we started to play it to matter as well. And it made a difference to the build-up and the tempo that we had, because it meant that Fred and Pogba could then move forward, and that brought them into the attack, and you saw how dangerous Pogba was, a goal and an assist. And Fred himself made a big difference in that midfield. And then in attack, all the focus was on Anthony Martial, who's in fantastic form and should be starting week in, week out for United right now. But because Lukaku wasn't in the team, the players didn't have to look for Lukaku. The players were looking for Martial, they were looking for Mata, they were looking for Rashford. There was a variety of players they were looking for rather than going for Lukaku and Lukaku only. And it made such a difference to United's build-up play. It meant that Everton couldn't focus on Lukaku, squeeze him out of the game and force United to try and make attacks in other ways. We didn't play like that. And all of a sudden you saw it got more out of Pogba, more out of Fred, certainly more out of Martial. I'm not sure whether Rashford was the best option as number nine. I think he, he struggles in that isolated striker role. I'd like to see Alexis Sanchez start in that position too, maybe against Bournemouth in United's next game. But just not having Lukaku in the team made a complete difference to the entire style of football that United had against Everton. With him, we would have known how we were going to play. Try and get the ball into him. Try and swing crosses into Lukaku. Try and get it to his feet. Long balls over the top to try and for Lukaku to knock it on. United didn't play like that against Everton and that is why that change for me made such a massive difference to how United played at the weekend. Now Mourinho deserves credit for dropping Lukaku against Everton, his former club. You know, maybe confidence was shot, his confidence certainly is shot at the moment and it made a huge difference. But if Romelu Lukaku was droppable and it made that much of a difference to Manchester United's whole style of play, I think one more change is certainly needed at the moment, and that is dropping Nemanja Matic. But if dropping Lukaku seemed inconceivable, then maybe dropping Matic is even more inconceivable because Matic has always been one of Mourinho's generals. The player he signed for Chelsea, the player he signed for Manchester United, and the player who has played every single minute in his last seven appearances for Manchester United. And the only game he missed was the Wolves game because he got sent off against Watford. Other than that, He's played every single minute in 9 out of 10 of United's last games. He needs a rest. Matic was at the World Cup with Serbia after a long season with Manchester United. Went back to the pre-season after a short break. Then had to leave pre-season because he needed surgery on an abdominal problem that he had sustained from the previous season. Then the year started and Matic looks tired. Matic looks leggy. He always seems to be a couple of yards behind where he needs to be, whether that's in midfield, in an interception, anywhere on the pitch. Matic just seems a couple of yards slow and it's making a huge difference to United's midfield. United are simply too slow and predictable with Matic in the midfield at the moment. You know, look at the start of last year when Matic was so dominant in midfield. That's not the Matic we're seeing at the moment and if a rest can make such a big difference to how United play an attack without Lukaku, I feel the same could happen in midfield if Matic is given a rest as well. And look at the players that we've got available. It's not as if we're struggling for midfielders. Andreas Pereira, he started the season in that defensive midfield role. He's completely gone out of the team. But let's talk about Ander Herrera because he's surely the player that can make the difference in that role. Last year, he got into the Spain squad 
because he was playing in that number six role and it's the only time in his career he's got into the Spain squad. That's because he was playing so well as a defensive midfielder. And if you imagine Ander Herrera sitting behind Pogba and Fred, that's three ball-playing dynamic central midfielders that can give United so much more variety in midfield than when Matic plays. Matic is good at what he does, breaks up the play, passes to someone else. He rarely breaks the lines with his passes. He rarely, if ever, breaks the lines with his runs. But that's something that Fred, Pogba and Ander Herrera could do in abundance. And as I said, I've seen so much of a, I saw so much of a change in United's attack without Lukaku that I think Mourinho needs to experiment and try that same change in midfield and drop one of his most trusted players in the Manu Matic and maybe bring in Ander Herrera or Andreas Pereira. United have got options there. We shouldn't just be sticking with Nemanja Matic. But do you think that would be the right thing to do? For me, it would be. As I said, Lukaku being dropped made such a difference to United's attack. We were dynamic. Martial was on fire. Rashford, as ineffective as he was as a number nine, was still making more runs in behind than Lukaku. And it brought the most out of our team and our players. Pogba, Fred and Mata all had excellent performances too. And I feel the same thing could happen in the midfield. If we let Matic go to the bench for a game or two, maybe for the Bournemouth game, and see what happens, we might be able to see a massive improvement in that area of the pitch as well. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think these changes are needed at United? Or after the Chelsea game, ignoring the Juve game, our last two Premier League games have been very promising. Second 45 minutes against Chelsea, best 45 minutes we've had at Stamford Bridge in years, and a very comfortable 90 minutes, or maybe 70 minutes, the last 20 were unnecessarily uncomfortable thanks to... Chris Smalling and that tackle and that penalty. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you drop Nemanja Matic and maybe bring in Ander Herrera? Or would you keep it just as it is? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe.